Uh, let me just say a couple things. First of all, something that uh, Greg talked about that you, you may not know unless you're in the business. The integration of physical and mental health has been something that people have talked about for a long time. In some ways, the issue of turf may have gotten in the way of being able to integrate that. But if you have a mental health issues, it is likely that you will have physical health issues. So the ability to coordinate care and to put somebody who has a mental health issue and integrate it with a physical health issue is a very significant accomplishment in this, in this budget, which Tracy, I, I want you to comment on. The second thing is there are reductions to providers. There's a reduction to physicians. But we don't believe the reductions are so much that people will drop Medicaid patients. It's important that they don't. Secondly, there are reductions to, to hospitals. But we are putting together a program that's actually logical and forward thinking. In other words, a roadmap, a roadmap for everybody to be comfortable that over time we will control our costs, we'll be forward looking, and that people will be treated fairly. It's always a struggle, but I am so proud of the work that Greg and his team have done that I believe when people talk about health care reform, they say Minnesota. I'm very hopeful that in a short period of time, people will say, look at what they're doing in Ohio. Trace